more than impressive. It's really an engineering marvel to build this very vast wilderness. Alaskan history is the story of transportation because it's so doggone hard up here to get from point A to point B. Matter of fact, they're never it's easy to get from point A to point B because you usually got to go to point Z to get to point B. He was reported to have said that if you give me enough snuff and dynamite, I'll build you a railroad to hell. One of the key challenges is blasting the railroad grade out across really mountainous cliffs. And all of this was done by men working with shovels and dynamite, horses, no modern equipment, no great big machines or anything. Keeney and Hawkins' workforce of 4,500 men built 129 bridges over the 200-mile route. The snow slides would uh, take trains off of the tracks, and they would get out, put the train back on the tracks, get back on the train, and they never lost faith. United States troops are on the move to take up strategic positions somewhere in Alaska. It's estimated that three billion dollars came into Alaska during World War II for construction projects alone. All of this money coming into Alaska transforms Alaska. At the end of the war, we inherited this vastly improved uh, transportation network. In the White House, President Eisenhower signs the proclamation that makes Alaska officially the 49th state. And across the country, manufacturers go into action, bringing the stars and stripes up to date. I never was a Democrat or Republican. I was always an Alaskan. I was a Republican. I've been an independent. I, I could be a nut, but I'm really just an Alaskan. We are still very lightly explored. There are huge, huge deposits in the state of Alaska that have never really seen any kind of exploration. I think we still have many more discoveries that are highly significant. It's in the northern part of the hemisphere that the riches are. The gold and silver and iron are the diamonds, the gas, the oil, and all that stuff. It's all north. <laughs> 